everybody, it's Allie, and you know, I've been doing a lot with brushes recently. Well, today we're going to make a texture, and in case you can't tell, it's a snow texture. So, we had a pretty big storm last weekend, and I ran out on the deck, and I took a bunch of pictures against the grill, because the grill has a black cover, you intending to turn that into a snow texture. So I've grabbed one of the texture, one of the images, which needs a little bit of work, and I'm going to turn this into a texture and then we're going to make this nice little wolf and we're going to give him a little snow. So first thing I need to do is get rid of the stuff that doesn't belong. So I'm going to just crop this baby. And yeah, I'm doing it on the background in this case. You can duplicate if you want, but I mean, seriously, this isn't very artsy at this point. It's just creating a texture. So when I'm pretty sure I've got good borders, I'm just going to crop and select that. And the next thing I'm going to need to do is I need to get the blacks a little blacker. So I'm going to do a command zero and get this a little bit larger. And I'm going to grab this time. I usually like curves, but I'm going to try a levels adjustment. And one of the things I like about the levels is you've got these three eyedroppers, black and white. And I don't know what this middle one does, but I'm going to take the black one and I'm going to find a kind of dark area and I'm going to click it. And you see what it does is it says, OK, that's black. So now in, it's giving us a little bit better contrast. And I'm just for fun, I'm going to grab the white one and grab one of my brighter snowflakes. Maybe that one. Oh, a little too bright. So we're going to go Command C. Um, I think I'll just try that one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to increase my increase my contrast. So basically now I've got this image and it's mostly black, not all black. My snowflakes have depth. They're not all the same opacity. And I'm going to do a command option shift E and stamp a layer. So the way I like to throw my um, throw my textures over is I'm just going to hit the V, which is the move tool, and I'm going to click into the middle of my image, and I'm going to drag it to the tab where I have my wolf, and I'm going to let go. And now you'll see it's here. Now we have a problem. It's not the right size, so I'm just going to do a command T. And so like there's a lot of different ways you can approach this. If my snowflakes work like this, then this is fine. They're a little bit bigger, but they might be okay. If I found that I don't like it this way, I mean, you can stitch a couple of images together. They don't have to be a perfect match. And I could go back to my original ones and grab different ones and do the same thing and stitch them and make a bigger image. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But right now we have a problem because we can't see our wolf. So I am going to change my blend mode. Blend mode to screen, and I like screen for snow. You'll notice that it's just a little bit softer than lighten. Uh, color dodge is too bright. You know, you can play around with these. Linear dodge add seems to be okay, but um, screen seems to look the best to me. Now, if you want to get the snow to have a little more oomph, you just have to do a Command or Control J and duplicate it and then a command T and I'm just going to kind of shift this over. And now one of the things that happens when you do this is when you've got some snow that's a little bit more unique. Also, we've got this edge here now. So I'm going to add a layer mask and I want to get rid of these guys that you could clearly see I've got some repeating patterns. So I've got my brush on black and I'm just going to kind of kill that guy and kill that guy because they're repeating and it's pretty obvious. Now I'm going to put a 50% by hitting 5. My opacity is now 50% and raise the brush and just kind of kill this edge. I find a 50% opacity does a pretty good job of killing an edge. And there I had a half a flake so I kind of just hit it a few times. So there we go. Um, I could keep doing this. I could, I could duplicate a few more times if I want, but we've got some snow. It was pretty quick. Uh, I did it for free by taking a picture during a storm, and you can do this too. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and thanks so much for your time.